Alrighty, name of the game, Dark Souls, prepare to die edition. Alrighty, so this is basically going to be some ideas maybe for a new character, so I'm just going to call this one as I normally do, and we'll go with... Uh, if a first time ever playing, I'd definitely choose a warrior, gift, obviously master key, very slim, So this is, if if you've never played before, I definitely recommend this start because it's just going to make you generally have a better time fighting the earlier stuff. You've all seen the cutscene. If not, just go on Google and it's the exact same as the trailer that they made. <coughs> Alrighty. So instead of doing what I normally do, I'm just like just take all the armor off and run. I'm just going to do a general demonstration of how to get through the game. Just doing what you do if you were playing for your first time. So it's going to be some general tips and stuff. <coughs> Hopefully help you out. Alrighty. As I'm sure everyone who's watching this has probably already played before, but obviously the biggest silent theme in the hill. The reason I'm not hitting that bonfire is just because there's a bonfire just past it anyway. Alrighty. So, big demon. Uh, I think you can actually see it up there if you look. Yeah, you can see him up there. He's just chilling. So, he jumps down. You, you're you supposed to freak out. Run through this door. Cake. As would be expected. Very sword. I have my shield. Run up here. Ugh, I'm not used to being so heavy. Okay. And we'll equip this and this. Alrighty. So now you get your first weapons, which are, to be honest, pretty bad, because you just. You're dealing like 40 damage. I'm sure, you're too short of these guys, but these guys are so weak, it's not funny. Uh, you sprint up here, boulder. Um, you can listen to this guy's rant. I really couldn't be bothered right now because the amount of times I've heard it. It's ridiculous. Alrighty. Next, you're gonna run up here. Through this guy. Through this door. Now, if you picked any other class, your like, if you picked a mage, your staff would be leaning here, where your catalyst. And if you picked, like, a cleric, that's, like, where your talisman would be. That kind of stuff. Ow. Alright. So, first thing you're gonna do is he's gonna switch to two-handed, because that'll just make you do more damage. So, a lot of people mess up dropping attacks, so you just walk off the edge, and then as you're falling, you hold down the drop attack. This is up to First boss is so easy to achieve that. Okay, start attacking it. Obviously, I'm gonna stay behind it. Unless you run out of stamina. Okay, yeah, so we kill the boss. You don't have to worry about looting him because it just drops you the key straight away. So that's the whole of Undead Asylum down easy. Okay, so the first few things I'm going to show you is one which a lot of people know about, and then a second one that a lot of people aren't, uh, they don't know about it. Uh, basically, I'm just going to skip this cutscene, and I'll skip the next one. Alrighty. Now I'm in Border Run. Okay, so I'm just going to. So you want to be getting ready for the Drake Swords, so you want to get as close. Oh, damn, seriously. Okay, I'm just going to. Uh, yeah, I'll get 20 swords and come back. Okay, so Drake Sword requires 16 strength and 14 or 12 dexterity. Something like that. Basically, you just want a little strength if you start off as a warrior. So then. Where am I going? No, I'm going the wrong way. What am I doing? Uh, <coughs> I'm going to show you 
a couple items which are around which would be helpful. So, I'm just going to lose this armor because it's really annoying me now. It's just so heavy. Uh, that guy will sell you miracles, but you have to join his covenant. It's not a great covenant, but hey. So this looks like a downed elevator. It's actually a drop down here. You can then do a quick run down here. And there are a lot of good items down here. you got a whole bunch of homewood bones. Normally you only get one after each boss. You can get six just from that chest. And get Morningstar and Talisman. Talisman will let you use miracles. So if you're starting off with, um, without being a cleric and you want to use miracles, right there. Most often I wouldn't start off as a cleric just because you can get Talismans really early on really easy and just makes your day easier because you can get other stats. Alrighty. We're out in here, avoid the skeletons that are spawning behind me. Actually, I will kill one. Except these guys will not want to take damage from me early on. Wow, okay. Maybe it was a bad idea. Especially because they built up bleed. But hey. Alrighty. Not amazing. Bloody damage. Okay. This is not the best plan I've ever had. I'll actually be spewing because I don't think these guys drop souls either. Alrighty. Oh, they do drop souls. Okay, cool. Now I can level up. Alrighty. Next thing I want to show you is we're going to go to a zone called Blight Town, which a lot of players will hate. However, I don't anymore. Uh, for the simple reason that basically if you start off with the master key, you can skip it so easily and make it everything easy for yourself. Alright. So. First off. I'm going to show you uh, in Blight Town there are two things I'm going to be getting early on. Uh, if you're a pyromancer, I'm pretty sure you can get something else down here, which is so nice. <coughs> you can go and talk to the witch down here, she'll sell you pyromancies. If you don't know where she is, I'll quickly show you once we get there. So basically, we're in New Londo. If you're not ready for this zone, you will die a lot. So just stay away from it. Come up through this tower. And there's a soul here, which we don't really need, but I'm taking it anyway, just to show you it's there. And then we want to run through here. So this is the back way into Blight Town. The front entrance requires a key, you have to go through the whole depths to do that. I just couldn't be bothered. It just takes so much time, it's really not worth the reward at the end. You're gonna get a couple extra souls, and that's about it. So I'm just run past all these giants. Well, that ogres, actually. Giants are different. Okay. Uh, if you're coming through Blighttown, the key to New Londo would be in this chest, but I'm coming backwards and I have the master key, so I can just open that door anyway. Uh, second thing you want to do, I'm going to come down here. Keep in mind, because you're in a zone that's much higher level than you are, you are not going to do much damage to anything down here, but we're not here to do damage. We're here to get items. So the first thing I'm going to do is... Oh, must have been the ogre who died. Okay, I'm going to run across these trees. You've got to be kind of quick here because you're being shot at by poison dart. Well, not even poison darts, toxic darts. Toxic is even more deadly than poison. It'll take about half a bar of health off every second. And that's the entire crimson gear right there. And there's also Remedy, which is a nice spell in here. Remedy makes Blight Town one of the most easy zones because all of the poisons down here and all of the toxics which deal massive amounts of damage. Uh, if you use Remedy you get four casts I think and a cast will remove anything. So if you've got poisoned and toxic at the same time one Remedy will remove both of them. Makes it so much easier to complete this area. Alright the next place I'm going to go is going to go over there where those guys are. Quickly grab an item there. I doubt I'll make it out, but my bonfire is still filing shrine, so I could just fall to my death. Alrighty! Never mind then, I got the crimson gear, that's all I really needed. <coughs> um, okay, next thing I'm going to show you. 